Hi, so this particular video is the first video in the playlist and it's dealing with something called the cosine rule. Okay, and the way it's normally given in an exam paper, and it's really good because you do actually get given the rule in the exam paper, is it will say something like a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus uh, 2bc cosine a and that's the way it's given to you in the exam paper now what that refers to is let's say that we've got a triangle and cosine rule in this particular instance relates to any type of triangle so typically you might be given something like that and um, let's say this will be eight centimeters and this would be 12 centimeters and you're given this angle and let's say this angle is say 60 degrees. Okay, well, the question will normally ask you to work out this measurement here. Okay, which is opposite the 60 degrees. And that's quite important because in order to apply the cosine rule, we need to make sure that we've got two sides and the angle itself in order to work out this length. Now this is the most typical application of this type of um, calculation. Um, there is a, a second way which I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes, but really if we were dealing with this, what we would say is that this is a, because what we're looking for is a squared, and then opposite that, and it's quite normal to put small case as being length, and then capital as being angle. So what we've got here is capital A for the 60 degrees and that's the bit that's going to go here and we've got A which is this bit here and B and C are the two lengths which are either side of the angle so it doesn't really matter which way we call it, we'll call that B and call that C. So if we wanted to work out the value of A what we would do is just basically feed that information into the formula. So we would have a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. Uh, what I'm doing, going to do now is put the information I've got into place on that formula and then if you want to go ahead and calculate that that's perfectly fine. In the next couple of videos I'm going to give you some more examples of specific calculations but really all we would do with this is say b is this which is 8 squared plus c which is this which is 12 squared minus 2 and b again is 8 and c is 12 and then it would be the cosine of 60 degrees and if you plug all of that into a calculator you're going to get an answer I don't know what the answer is I just made it up on the spot um, so if you want to put word that out and put the answer into the comments I'd be really appreciative of that okay so that's the most common application of the cosine rule where you're given two sides and the angle in the middle of those two sides Okay, now the other way of uh, an application of this is where you're actually given three sides and you're asked to work out an angle. So let's say I'm going to use the same triangle, but this time I'm going to say that this is 8, this is 12 and this is 15. And the question is asking us to find out this angle at the top, which I'm going to call A in the same way as I did there. OK, well, we can use the same formula, but what we need to do is just manipulate that formula a little bit to allow us to work out this value of A. And again, further on in the playlist, there's a few examples of some of these specific questions. OK, so what we'll do here is I'm just going to look at this formula, which is A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine A. And then we need to use a fairly straightforward algebra to be able to manipulate this formula a little bit further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 2BC cosine A to both sides in order to cancel this out. So what I'll end up with is 2BC cosine A plus A squared, which is this A squared here, equals B squared plus C squared. Okay, well... 
I, I'm really interested in cosine a on its own. So I need to just get rid of this positive a squared, which was from over here. I'm going to minus a squared from both sides. So that will give me 2bc cos a equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared. OK, and then to get the value of cos a, OK, I'm just going to divide both sides by 2bc. So I get b squared plus c squared minus a squared all over 2bc. OK, um, that's the other um, formula. Now, in some textbooks, I'm aware that it'll say you need to remember this formula. But actually, if you can't remember it, then actually it's relatively straightforward, hopefully, for you to be able to derive that formula and get yourself this value. OK, so those are the two things you need to remember for the cosine rule, one of which is given to you. And it's important that you look at uh, the angle that is opposite the angle that you're trying to, the length that you're trying to work out. You're usually given it in that sort of format and a couple of questions in the playlist will help with that. And also this one is a little bit more sophisticated. You can go ahead and remember the formula or you could derive it yourself. Um, I hope that's been helpful for you. This is just an introduction to using the cosine rule. If you have a look at the, uh, the rest of the playlist, there'll be some examples on specific questions from GCSE higher level. Please do subscribe to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.